Okay, perhaps you've been in a store and you're making a big purchase. Maybe it's a washer and dryer or refrigerator or laptop computer or something. And you're getting these uh, wonderful offers from the sales associate about 90 days same as cash or maybe 12 months same as cash or zero interest for 12 months, et cetera, et cetera. Let's talk about that in this lecture, whether that should be for you. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the most common offers that I've, that I've seen that are out there. And we'll talk a little bit about each one and um, whether it's for you or not and what are some of the dangers, the pitfalls, et cetera. So let's look at the, uh, one of the more common ones out there is the 0% uh, APR, that stands for annual percentage rate, for 12 months. Now that might be, um, I often see this with uh, balance transfers for credit cards. So let's say you have a couple credit cards, uh, maybe you have two, which I would say would be okay. If you have three or four, I would be a little concerned. But let's say you have two major credit cards out there. Um, which I do, I, full disclosure, I currently have two uh, major credit cards and that is it. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I get these offers every now and then uh, to transfer a balance from one to another and it will often be this type in the first bullet point, 0% APR for 12 months. Sounds great, doesn't it? You're not being any charged any interest for 12 months. Now, there are some things to be careful of, especially with the credit card balance transfer. And then I'll talk a little bit more about what you might be seeing in a store for a purchase. But right now, I'm just talking about the typical uh, credit card balance transfer. They will offer you that 0% APR for 12 months. And in fact, you will be charged 0% for that 12 months. That's a great thing. Uh, that's basically free money, but there's a catch. There's usually a balance transfer fee, and that can be anywhere from two, three, four, or even higher percent. So they are gonna charge you basically a front-loaded interest rate. Let's say you're, I'll make it easy, uh, you're gonna transfer $1,000 off of one card, and you're gonna put it on another because they're giving you this 0%. They'll say, great, but we're gonna charge you 4% to do that. So 4% on $1,000 is going to be 40 bucks. So they're going to charge you $40 out of the gate just to move that money from one bucket to another. So really they're collecting a, an interest rate up front. They also may have a minimum transfer charge and that may be one, two, three hundred dollars $300. So let's say for example, you're transferring that $1,000 over and they're charging a minimum transfer fee of 200, okay? So it, uh, you know, on that smaller dollar amount, that's 20% right off the front when you look at it that way. They're charging you $200. So be very aware, and it will say it, and it will often be in the fine print about what the transfer charge will be. Now, let's say for some reason it's very low. Let's say it's $50 transfer fee, and you're moving, $5,000 from one card to another and you're you're going to have it paid off in 12 months and you feel really good about that. Okay, you do that. You pay the 50 bucks to transfer from, from one credit card to another. You will have that 0% for that 12 months. Now, there will be some catches. There's usually a payment, a minimum payment required. So you're going to want to make sure that you're making that minimum payment. There could be specific triggers that if you do not make that minimum payment or you let's say you forget or are late or don't, you know, you're supposed to be paying 40 bucks a month, but you pay only 30 because you just messed up. Boom, like that. The agreement is over and you're going to be charged regular interest rates. So you got to make sure that you really have to be very, very careful if you're doing that, that you are uh, sticking to whatever the rules are. <clears throat> now, after the end of the 12 months, let's say you don't have it paid off. What happens at that point? you will be charged regular interest rates to whichever that transfer was considered. For most credit cards, you might be charged a two-tier rate, one for cash advances and transfers and one for purchases. And look at your credit card. They are usually very different rates and those transfer balances and cash advances are very high. You're looking at 20 plus percent versus maybe a regular purchase, you know, uh, 
a merchandise purchase what might be charged at a much more reasonable but even though higher percentage rate than uh, than normal loans so do be careful those those transfer balances and those cash advances will kill you in the interest rates okay so there is that be careful with balance transfers they're usually not to your favor um, you have to be very very careful with that now let's say this was in store you're buying that that washing machine very much similar in that um, there is no interest charge during that 12 months uh, there may be a minimum payment due and then at the end of that if you don't have it paid off it's usually converted over to some sort of loan uh, at probably a pretty high interest rate okay because there's they really don't want you to pay that off the key the key thing with this first offer to remember is that there really is zero APR charged during that first 12 months or whatever that time frame may be for credit cards there may be a transfer fee that they're collecting for purchases that may not be there there may be a loan application fee or some sort of fee that they're collecting up front just be careful about any of those fees up front and um, again no interest is charged during that 12 month period at the end of 12 months if it's not paid off then you are making uh, whatever payments you have to make at whatever crazy rates are going to be stated uh, in that disclosure that they're going to have you uh, sign all right so there's the, the zero percent apr for 12 months the other offer you may get and this is typically in a store so let's go with uh you were purchasing that refrigerator that 12 months same as cash this one uh you um are not charged any interest rates that's the same as the same as cash you may have to do and typically will have a minimum payment due during that 12 months make sure you're making that minimum payment then what happens at the end of 12 months this is where it gets really really interesting let's say you don't have it paid off and uh, at the end of the 12 months and um, you go oh, that's cool all right I didn't pay it off no big deal well it is a big deal because a lot of times what these uh, 12 months same as cash will do is they'll have a retroactive interest rate it'll be stated in the disclosure let's say it's 20 percent and typically they're pretty high interest rates for uh, for these retail purchases they will charge you that 20 percent retroactive to the balance that you had from day one so they will collect all that interest rate if you fail to make that that payment to have that paid off by the 12 months same as cash now full disclosure have i used 12 months same as cash yes i have used that 12 months same as cash um, you do have to be very very careful though to make sure that there's no front end fees loaded in the beginning uh, and to uh, make sure that no matter what you have that paid off before that final date so have that date circled on your you know on your calendar and have it posted all over the place because you do not want to miss that actually have it paid off a couple of weeks before that date you don't want any problems whatsoever um, that that retroactive interest rate is applied to you all right so there's the 12 months same as cash then there's the no interest, no payment for 12 months. Very popular, right? Sounds great. You know, I don't even, you don't even have to make a payment. Like with the first option, the 12 months, same as cash, there usually is a payment due. Um, and, uh, you know, some sort of monthly payment due throughout that 12 month period. This final offer, no interest, no payments for 12 months. You're not doing anything. So you're buying that refrigerator, you're buying that furniture, and you're not feeling any pain, right, for 12 months. Again, be careful. There might be some fees uh, loaded up front uh, on this that they'll just tack on to your bill. So always be aware of any kind of loan fee or, uh, again, any, any kind of front end fees that aren't interest uh, in, in their disclosure. All right, so what happens to you at the end of the 12 months? You got to pay the whole thing off. Let's say you bought $5,000 worth of furniture. You got to walk into that finance office or mail it in or whatever make sure it's in their hands before that 12 month period again what will happen just like with a 12 month same as cash as they'll do retroactive interest from day one and that's on the entire balance so please be careful with that again it can really hammer you with like a 22 23 they'll usually go up to the state usury limits which are the each state has a, a law on how much interest rates you can charge uh, someone 
and they're usually pretty high, 20, 25% right in that range, maybe 33%. Uh, but they'll usually be pretty close to those state laws, and they'll go all the way up to that legal limit of interest rates, um, and they will charge you for that. So what's the story here? The story is, um, if, if at all possible, my recommendation would be to avoid these schemes. Now, in full disclosure, have I done them? Yes, we have done them. Uh, my wife and I have done them, um, especially like the 12-month Samish cash or the no interest, no payments for 12 months. But we made absolutely sure that uh, the cash was in the bank or nearly in the bank. And we made sure absolutely that we had that paid off um, before that time period, whatever that time period, 12 months, six months, 90 days, whatever. In our case, it was the 12 months uh, was paid off. Also, make sure that you are not in a situation, if at all, if, you're, if at all possible, where um, that you're in a position that uh, is, I guess, somewhat from, from strength, if you will. So let's say, um, you know, like for the instance, where we used the, the 12 months same as cash was for the purchase of a refrigerator. We had shopped all around, we found the deal that we wanted on the refrigerator, went to multiple places all over town, finally pinned, pinned down the refrigerator we want, found it on sale for about $300 less than a competitor. So we were very happy with the cash price of that refrigerator. Then they said, hey, you know, why don't you do the 12 months same as cash? And we're like, okay, cool. Not only did we get a good deal on the refrigerator, at least we perceived it as a good deal, we couldn't get anywhere else cheaper. Uh, then we used um, their money to finance that for a period of time. Then we had that paid off right around the 10th, uh, 10th month. We just paid the whole thing off. So that left the money in our bank account and our control for a little while longer to do some things with the money that we wanted to do. So what I say kind of a, as a position from strength, let's say if your refrigerator dies and you go into the first place and you need a refrigerator because your food's going to spoil, you might, be play, you might be paying an overly inflated price for whatever that might be. So be careful, be a good shopper, make sure you are getting a good deal. Cause that's another way that they'll bury um, the fees. You know, if you go and buy the furniture, but the furniture has been already inflated to $300 more than what it would normally be, um, you know, they're getting, they're getting paid. So I'm all about businesses getting paid. That's fine, they're in business to be in business. But you as a consumer have to be aware too you know, of how things are working, that you're getting a fair value for the exchange, uh, for whatever that might be, laptop, computer, washer and dryer, whatever it might be, um, and that you're aware of these various financing mechanisms. Now, again, whenever we do these, we always be very, very careful. We've only done it a couple of times, uh, and, you know, you, you do absolutely want to be careful about all any kind of front-end fees, and whatever the rules are, you know, if you have a minimum payment due every month, you're making that minimum payment. And when it has to be due, usually typically around 12 months, that you, had a, you have it paid off before that, before all of that retroactive nastiness with interest is applied from day one. The day that you actually purchased it, it's retroactively applied. So there's my little story. Use these if you wish, but go in there with knowledge about how they operate. Um, and if at all possible, be careful. You may want to avoid them because if you have one hiccup and you can't pay it off, again, it's, it can be pretty bad. All right, so there you go. There's about my same as cash offers. Hope that's helped. Thanks.